Well, modern day slavery deceives, confuses, and forces its victims to stay silent. Channel 5's Angelo Vargas takes a look into an increase of labor trafficking in the valley. Angelo. There are many forms of human trafficking. Labor trafficking is if someone who was forced to work experiences fraud and is threatened. We found out many are speaking out. Labor traffickers see a natural disaster as a profit. Hurricane Katrina was money in their pockets. I pay $5,000 to come to the U.S. But what are the conditions of work? People from other countries see a disaster as a way to help, even taking out loans to get here. You know, I was hired to, to reconstruct the, the, the city, cleaning and help. Daniel Castellanos is from Peru. He saw this job as an opportunity. He came here on an H-2B visa to work legally. When he arrived in New Orleans, his job title changed. They offered me this work and they sent me to a hotel to work. And because I speak English, they, they, they sent me to a uh, front desk. His pay changed too. Did you know that you were going to get $6 an hour? No, month? I didn't. They, they offered me $15 the hour. It is the reason I came. Castellanos is not from Texas, although his story is similar to those who are survivors of labor trafficking in the Valley. We had a lot of referrals already be, uh, from immigrant uh, population agencies. Refugee Services of Texas helps survivors of human trafficking find resources. Senior Programs Manager Rachel Alvarez explains there is an increase. Uh, since October, we've had about 20 plus cases that we've been working with. Is that a lot? That is a lot. We were just been a few months open and usually when we started our services in Austin, it was nine survivors that we assisted in the entire year. Castellanos left his family back home, paying off his debt. I left my, my, my little daughter from four years old. Now it's 15 years old. You know, I lose all the, all the time. The now he's a national speaker for others who were in his position. Alvarez explains human trafficking is so complex it's hard to track recent numbers. As of 2017, nationally, more than 1,000 cases are reported. In the Channel 5 News studio, Angelo Vargas, Channel 5 News at 6.